This month we're talking each week about a different aspect of living unashamed as a Christian experiencing same-sex desire. And today we're going to talk about prayer. Uh, we got three things, so buckle up. When I first started experiencing attraction to girls in high school, there was such a hesitancy in naming it. I had a vague understanding of Christian teaching, but not much beyond, it's wrong. But no one ever really said what it was. So it was super easy to transition in your mind from it's wrong to I'm wrong. Like there's something wrong with me, I messed up. And so if you're gonna admit that to God in prayer, like what is God gonna think? Like, is he gonna be disappointed? Like, does God still love me? There's an initial movement of shame, I think. Uh, like, we're afraid the gaze of God is gonna be imperfect or judgmental. Uh, but contrary to some of the signs that you might have seen people holding, uh, that's not in accord with God's nature. Like, God is love. God's gaze upon you is love. God is holding you in existence right now by love. So to be unashamed in prayer is first to come out of hiding, right? To peer from behind our barricades, from behind our self-protection, and just sit with God and just breathe. And really to ask ourselves, like, do I really believe? Do I really believe that God loves me in this experience right now? And then no matter what happens, no matter who I have a crush on tomorrow, God loves me and God is gonna to continue to sustain me in love. Uh, because unless we can come to that place of believing that or at least growing in belief in that, there's always gonna be a huge wall up between you and him. As I started getting more comfortable being open with God in prayer, another challenge rose up for me personally. I don't know if you've ever seen in like Christian circles when people get on these like virtue vice kicks, where they're like, oh yeah, like I'm gonna uproot this vice in my life and I'm gonna plant virtue and it's gonna be awesome. And virtue growth is awesome. But for me, I saw same-sex desire as that one thing that needed to be uprooted from my life. So if it was like, okay, if I can just like figure out where this comes from and I can fix it, then it's done, it's gone. Gay prayed away. Check that box. We're not saying you shouldn't examine your life. Like by all means, we should be intentional people, right? God invites us to examine our inner life so that we can grow in Christian maturity. We've all got stuff, but correlation isn't immediately causation. I don't dig into my past in an attempt to fix myself, but I reflect on my experiences to see what helps or hinders my growth as a free person. Because we all have wounds that need healing, right? Uh, difficult childhood situations, broken relationships with family, friends, significant others, really, really rough things that have happened to us too in our life, like our own personal failures and mistakes. But that's not an LGBT thing. That's not an SSA thing. That's a human thing. So by all means, like be real, be raw before God in prayer, but do it to grow in freedom as a human person, not to repair what you think needs to be fixed. So it has been my lot in life to live in flat landlocked states. However, I like to vacation where there's more altitude diversity. And if you've ever gone hiking in the mountains, you'll notice a really common trail building technique, which is the switchback, right? So if you have a really, really steep section, the trail will like traverse the steepness really gradually in a switchback. But sometimes you'll be like hiking up this and you'll look down and you'll be like, what the heck? Like the trail is literally five feet below me. I was just here. Well, and the same thing happens in the spiritual life, doesn't it? Like the higher we go, the more sometimes it feels we're right back where we started. And this can be another cause for shame in prayer. I thought this would be different. I thought I would feel different. No, nope. still happening. But the truth is, like, as we continue to grow and deepen our relationship with God, we are going to kind of feel like we're back where we started, right? Like, think of those switchbacks. Um, but it's just another thing we need to surrender. It's another way to grow. It's another part of our life to examine and surrender to the Lord. And so if sometimes it feels like things, like, keep coming up in our life, sometimes that actually means, like, we are making progress. We are growing. We're going higher up the mountain. We're going deeper into the heart of Christ. And that's nothing to be ashamed of. Thank you.